Okay, now let's play around with the um, 3D capabilities of Corel CAD. Uh, just to remind you that I'm not really, really, really familiar with the 3D uh, feature of Corel CAD, but I was playing around with it, and uh, I can say I, I, I like the features, and uh, and I was happy because and excited because Corel CAD has uh, 3D capabilities. Now. I'm just gonna show you what I've learned while playing around with, the, with Corel CAD. So now I'm not sure if I'm doing the right and the fast fastest way, but anyway, I'll just give you my insights or my impressions of it. So anyway, I'm still in 2D here, X, Y, okay? So it means I'm in 2D and I'm going to create a rectangle here and the start corner zero comma zero which is the origin which is in here that's zero comma zero hit enter and i'm going to make a rectangle like that okay now i'm going to create a circle and that's i'm going to make a circle which is center or you know um let's not make it center just make it somewhere here click and then drag now if you notice I'm not doing any measurements I'm just going to do it just visually do it we just want to play around the 3d capabilities we're not do, really doing the precise measurements here anyway so I've got these two objects now and what I'll do I'll go to view uh, 3d views and go to SW isometric so I've got that view already okay if you notice now I have my Z axis here, which I'm in 3D already, but these are flat surfaces yet. So the first thing we're going to do is to extrude this rectangular box here. Okay, so I click on solid, draw, extrude. And what will I extrude? Specify entities, it's this one, hit enter. Now in here I can type in a measurement, but like I said, we're just doing it, it's playing around with it, so I'll just click on that just to make just manually do it manually do the height okay so I'm going to create uh, I'm going to extrude this cylinder too so I go to solid draw extrude this one hit enter and I'm going to bring it up like that so if you notice it's wireframe here there's an option here in Corel CAD where you if you want to hide the, the wireframe just make it like flat looking so you go to view and click on hide so now you can see that there's a you got some 3d objects here already so now I can uh, I like also the constrained orbit so if you click on view and click on uh, constrained orbit you can actually rotate or orbit the object okay and then if you want more control you hold down shift and then you have this you can see this four I don't know what you call it like like moving points okay zoom in zoom out with your scroll button anyway we have that one ready right now let's add another another object so I'll go back to view and click on views top view again top view and then I'll create a uh, a polygon here so I click on my uh, polygon tool I'll make five sides see command window is say asking for five sides so I'll just type in five and hit enter okay the center point let's say this is my center point and then I type in C for corner and I have this polygon here I click and this, and that's it now you go back to view and then click on SW isometric. So I have this one already. Okay. So let's extrude that still. So we go solid, draw, extrude, command windows asking for entities. So I click on this one, hit enter, and I can all again manually uh, extrude it. Just want to make it like that. Now you can orbit it, the shortcut key for orbit. Now actually you can do, uh, you can hold down shift and then this, and then you're gonna have this, this pi bot. I mean this four cars here. So you go 
constrain orbit shift and then you can move it around okay now let's add another object so view and let's let's put it in the front view okay so that's my front view i'm going to put it here okay so here so i'm going to put a, a rectangle maybe here there so let's do that again Control z Control z I'm going to put a rectangle here okay so i've got that one here and then i'll go to my 3d isometric view and it's this one here and i'm going to extrude that too so solid draw uh, extrude this one hit enter and then i can do it this way I'm just going to check my objects. So I click on constraint ob objects. So everything is fine. Everything's fine. So everything's fine. Okay. Now I was surprised because the Corel CAD has its own plugin. Like you have to download the plugin, but it's a free plugin. So anyway, uh, this plugin is it renders the the 3D object, which I really enjoy because because it's 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 really realistic rendering so if you go to tools and then click on render plugin so we're going to render these three objects so if you want architectural you can click on architectural but we're doing it as a product so i click on product here and now it's generating the drop shadow and there you go you got your object very nice I like how it renders and not only that like you have some like this is your move tool and this one is orbit like that right? and you can also change your background so if you click on background there are tabs here you click on background you can there are lots of options here for background you can make a red background this one or gray or this one here right let's stick to blue here or you can have this custom you can actually make your custom background too okay let's go back for you know, just make it blue here now you also have options here for 2d let's say you want to put it here this kind of you know that, that kind of and then you can resize it okay, you can orbit it I had fun playing with this one okay so and you can also change the material actually you can change the material if you go click on this one material you can make a glossy material just click and drag it inside that's a glossy material blue you can go matte color gold to click on that thing so you can change the, the colors Yeah, so, so once again, that's the, and let's say you're, you're, you're okay with this view here. You can also experiment with the camera angle, which is this one here, the camera. And you can click on this one. These are the preset camera. Click and then drag inside that one. So it's playing around with this one. And you've got lots of options here too this one to make it zooming in but you can still manually move it or zoom it or make it smaller okay let's go back to background here and uh, make a 3d background lots of uh, options here you got back uh, small objects you can even insert this kind of picture here you can move it down make it smaller anyway uh, so so yeah that's uh, that's the uh, that's the 3d capabilities and just just imagine how how fast I did the 3d and 
and there it is very realistic you can also create snapshots of this one let's say you're happy with this uh, this view you can click on the snapshot which is this one okay a minute uh, I think you have to go to snapshots first there and you click snapshot there and then let's say you want to rotate it a little bit let's say you're you know you're presenting this to a client and you want different kinds of view views snapshot again and then you can yeah this one you can save it as a png or jpeg high resolution okay so i think that's it uh that's my experience in and yeah i enjoyed i enjoyed doing it and experimenting on it